often in this first fight of the evening. Fighting tonight out of the blue corner, this is Rich De Los Reyes. Rich De Los Reyes making just his second appearance as a pro MMA fighter, Jimmy, successful in his debut. Well, that's not bad, but he's got an extensive background in Muay Thai. So he comes in making his, you know, only second fight in uh, MMA, but has a good background in kickboxing, fought in Thailand. You know he wants to keep this fight on the feet, Sean. With the official introductions, we send it into Bellator's cage. Here is Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here at the Mohegan Sun Arena, Bellator Fighting Championships and Mohegan Sun, along with UB.net and Everlast. Tonight present Bellator 15 with tournament fights in both the featherweight and welterweight divisions. All fights inside the cage tonight sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribal Department of Athletic Regulation. Chief is Lynn Malerba. Supervisors cage side are Mike Mazzulli and Mike Murtha. And now, ladies and gentlemen, inside the cage, this featured contest kicks off the evening, scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting tonight out of the red corner. He wears the brown and camo. At five foot eight, he weighs in at 143 and three quarter pounds. The US Army Sergeant and freestyle fighter with a wrestling background comes into the cage tonight, making his professional MMA debut. Out of Dennis Fight Camp, training out of Philadelphia, the fighter from uh, Palmyra, New Jersey, introducing Breland Van Ar and across the cage is adversary fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunk set five foot six. He weighed in at 145 pounds even. The Muay Thai fighter and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist in the early stages of his professional MMA career comes in with one victory, no defeats. That one victory by way of submission out of American top team, the fighter from Waterbury, Connecticut, introducing Rich De Los Reyes. And now your referee inside the cage for this contest will be Kevin Mohal. Okay, you've both been given your rules. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. And when I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Right. Touch them up. Have a great fight. A Bellator feature fight in the lightweight division. Van Arch Dalen. He's in the brown trunks making his pro MMA debut. Dalos Reyes in the black trunks. Kevin Mulhall, the referee. The bell in round number one. These guys have totally different attitudes coming out. Van Arts Dalen looks like the Terminator. Delos Reyes smiling. He looks happy. Delos Reyes, Jimmy, saying, I like MMA. It's fun. <laughs> well, if it's not fun, don't do it. Both these guys look like they enjoy this sport, but Van Arts Dalen told us that he fights wild. And you see, he came at uh, Delos Reyes very, very strong and beautiful lift and throw. Big slam. Delos Reyes looking for a guillotine. Thought quickly about it. Van Arts Dalen pulling his head right out. De Los Reyes, a strong, extensive background in Muay Thai. Four and one is a professional Muay Thai fighter. This is not where he wants to be. It is, he says he, he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, comfortable off his back, but uh, uh, you're right, Sean. I think he's more comfortable on the feet. Oh, good right hands by Van, Van Artsdalen. Huge punches right to the face, the left and the right by Breland Van Artsdalen. Well, what I like about Van Artsdalen is he has good ground and pound. He's sitting up, posturing up, getting the space to land effective strikes. Not a lot of wrestlers do that. De Los Reyes holding half guard. Going for the Kimura from half guard. Van Arsdale trying to defend. You see he's trying to take pressure off that shoulder, trying to sit back. De Los Reyes has the Kimura locked in. Van Arsdale and spinning his way out. No, he's still locked in it, Sean. Going for the straight arm now. Wow, both these guys very dynamic. If you don't hold them down, they're out. Van Arsdalen trying to move into the north-south, can't do it as De Los Reyes sits up. Looks to be in Dar's choke position, but he's got to force that left arm through a lot deeper to get that. There are some chokes from this position, but Guillotine's a tough one to pull off from half guard, from on top. De Los Reyes trying to posture up on his left hip. Right hand a moment ago from Van Arsdalen. 
You know, half guard's a tricky position. A lot of guys like it in jujitsu. They get tricky, come out the back door, stuff like that. But hard to use in MMA. You end up taking a lot of damage from the bottom. Big knee there from Breland Van Artsdalen. Man, both these guys very aggressive. Delos Reyes going for all kinds of submissions from the bottom. You see trying to lock up a Kimura there, but that's going to be hard to get. Van Artsdalen pulling his hands free. Delos Reyes again caught in the north-south. Looking for the guillotine there. Had the arm in now. Straight guillotine attempt from Breland Van Artsdalen. Couldn't get out. Now, see, this battle has taken place almost exclusively on the ground. This is where Van Artsdalen wants to be. Dalis Reyes going for a lot of submissions, but I think he'd rather be on the feet. And, you know, that's the smart strategy. Don't let the Muay Thai fighter get up for free. Keep him on the ground. Dalis Reyes looking for those up kicks. Again, a guillotine attempt by Breland Van Artsdalen. Now, I like that strategy. He goes for the guillotine, it doesn't work, and he pops back up. He didn't stay in guard. A lot of guys burn a lot of energy going for a guillotine that isn't there. Van Artsdalen didn't do that. He went for it for a second, saw it wasn't there. Now it looks like he's going for the Darce choke, but switches again. Wow, that's very tricky. See that knee from the top to the ribs? That's totally legal, but a lot of guys don't throw it because they're not allowed to knee to the head on the ground. But Step you can up. knee to the ribs. We don't see it that often. Getting one hook in from the top, Van Artsdalen. Now getting both hooks in. Man, both these guys very aggressive on the ground, going for a lot of rapid fire submissions. Van Artsdalen trying to straighten out that left arm. That is tight. That is very tight, Jimmy. The end could be near. Hammer fist for good measure by Van Artsdalen. Now, it's not quite a triangle. He's not quite in the right position to choke him out, but if he can straighten that left arm of De Los Reyes, he can turn that into an armor. Let's see if he goes for that. But He's giving it up, trying to strike now. Busy with the hammer fist is Breland Van Artsdalen. De Los Reyes forced to play defense. Yeah, but this is a very fatiguing position to be in if you're De Los Reyes, man. You're not getting a lot of blood to the head. It might not choke him out, but being there is not easy, Sean, let me tell you. Breland Van Artsdalen. New Jersey State High School wrestling champion in the freshman division. Has wrestled since the age of four, showing good ground control, good wrestler's awareness with positioning. And that was slick there by De Los Reyes. Now we'll see how much gas each man has left. They've been very, very aggressive in this first round, but 25 seconds left to go. Who has the most in the tank? Hammer fists, not finding the mark by De Los Reyes. Both fighters back to their feet. Closing stages round number one. Scheduled for three in the featherweight division. This Bellator feature fight. And we are headed to a second round. Into the corner of Breland Van Artsdalen, making his pro MMA debut tonight at the Mohegan Sun Arena. I see some of that action from the first round. Van Artsdalen coming out. Big takedown, beautiful slam. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. And he doesn't let him up. I like the idea here when he stands up, he doesn't let the Muay Thai fighter back to his feet. He stays on him, keeping the fight on the ground where he's in control. Later on, on top, staying aggressive. Went for kind of an inverted triangle, but Stayed busy with the punches. Didn't let De Los Reyes off the hook. Aggressive from start to finish. That's an excellent, excellent round by Van Artsdalen. The bell in round number two. Van Artsdalen is in the brown trunks. De Los Reyes in the black trunks. Knee by De Los Reyes. Born in the Philippines. Moved to the United States with his family when he was seven years old. Now fighting out of Waterbury, Connecticut. Nice knee to the ribs. One of the things that rookie fighters do a lot is they don't know quite how to control their energy. They come out, spend a lot in the first round. So I think a big tail of this fight is going to be how they handle this second round. Oh! Van Arsene went for the throw and ended up on the bottom. De Los Reyes lands in full mount position. 
Van Arstalen with a chest hold momentarily. Now posturing to his side, about to give his back. Now let's see how the wrestler handles bad position. Rear naked choke, cinched in. You see, he has that right arm underneath. That is very, very deep. He's trying to peel that top hand off and control it, but this is a very deep choke. He's defending well, though. Referee Kevin Mulhall taking a very close look. Dalos Reyes looking to finish here in round number two with the rear naked choke. Van Artsdalen not putting his chin down as he's turning. That's what's costing him these chokes. Is not really defending his neck. Once again, that arm is sliding in every single time. Oh, that is very, very deep. Extremely tight as Van Artsdalen gains his feet. Trying to somersault his way out, that did not work. Uh, it got him out of the lock though, Sean. He still has the back, but it got that arm out from under his neck. So, hey, that's the right move, because that looked very tight. Again with the rear naked choke. Third attempt on this submission here in round number two by Rich Delos Reyes. Delos Reyes, a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, but he's not using the right technique when he has that arm underneath. You have to try and reach your own shoulder. He's trying to grab his arm, and that's where he's losing the grip here, but he's still going for it. Again, Van Artsdale and trying to somersault his way out of danger. Now that is much tighter. There's the tap. Victory for Rich Dalos Reyes and disappointment for Breland Van Arts Dalen in his pro debut. You know, he was he was winning the fight in the first round, but it shows in MMA, Sean, it only takes one mistake. Tried to go for a throw, ended up getting mounted, gave up his back, and from there, Dalos Reyes persistent with that choke, and it pays off in the end. Beautiful job. De Los Reyes obviously ecstatic as he improves his pro M MMA record to two wins and no losses. With a very gutsy performance, Sean. This is one of those performances you want early on. As a corner man, you want to see your guy come back, stay in the fight no matter what happens. We see here in the beginning, went for a body lock throw, but it's De Los Reyes planting that left leg and ending up on top. Van Artsdalen locked up in the rear naked choke. Rolls forward. You see it here, the pressure is on. Dale Reyes is underneath the neck, but Van Artsdalen rolls, manages to get that lock from out from under his chin. And that bought him a little bit of time, but made the same mistake again. He let Dale Reyes stay on his back, didn't uh, get his hips free. And from that position, he's going to keep going for the rear naked. And that's what he did. Beautiful finish by Rich Dale Los Reyes. Persistent and tough. Justifiably ecstatic is Rich De Los Reyes, Sean. Success for Rich De Los Reyes. Disappointment for Breland Van Artsdalen. Here is Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the cage, the official time, two minutes, three seconds into round number two. The tap due to the rear naked choke. And the winner by submission, Rich De Los Reyes.